Day night. Yeah. Of course, here at the Winter Garden Theater, it's Back to the Future Day or Back to the Future Night, damn near every night of the week. <laughs> um, before I present our special guest, I would just like everybody to acknowledge 
all the crew here who never get to come on stage. They work their tails off to make sure we have great shows like this every night. They are the best. Now, there might be a couple of people here who don't know who I am. I'm Bob Gale. Way back in August of 1980, I was digging around in my parents' basement. I found my dad's high school yearbook. And I saw a picture of my dad, and I wondered if I had gone to high school with my dad, would I have been friends with him? And that's when a proverbial bolt of lightning hit me in the head, and I said, hot ah, damn, that's a damn good idea for a movie. <laughs> well, it turned out it was a damn good idea for three movies. <laughs> and in 2006, Bob Zemeckis and I decided it would be a damn good idea for a Broadway musical. <laughs> Now, October 21st is Back to the Future Day, and there might be some people who don't understand what is the significance of October 21st. You just saw this whole show. October 21st isn't even in the show, right? Well, in the movie Back to the Future Part Two, October 21st, 2015, is the date that Marty, Doc, and Jennifer travel to in what was then the future. So when it was in October 2015 for real, there was a whole lot of excitement about, oh my God, it's, that's the date back to the future. So President Obama and British Prime Minister Tony Blair declared that October 21st was gonna be back to the future day. I don't know if they celebrate that in Libya. <laughs> but we're always going to celebrate it here. So, in honor of Back to the Future Day, night, whatever, uh, I invited my good friend, Harry Waters Jr., who plays Marvin Berry in the movie. And Harry is going to come out here, and he's going to do a duet with Jelani Remy, who plays Marvin Berry in our show. So enjoy what is one of the greatest duets you're ever going to hear. Y'all know the rest of the song, I think. Y'all 
the rest of it. You ready? Oh, I'm here for you. Take it away. <laughs> A fool in love. And this is for all these amazing people up here. All your amazing fans out here. With everybody.